This is the Guilty Gear Strive character breakdown for Jacko, the hyper-energetic martial fighter. Jacko and her servants return for Guilty Gear Strive, and they're ready to create chaos. It's important to become familiar with Strive's inputs while learning to fight with Jacko. She is a technical character who uses her servants to boost her offensive pressure. Above Jacko's tension meter is her character-specific servant gauge. It's divided into three sections, each one representing a servant she can summon. Jacko begins every round with one bar of servant gauge, and part of the gauge is consumed when she summons a servant or uses specific servant commands. The gauge refills passively during the round, but also gets a portion back when servants are recalled. Servants are summoned one at a time, and up to three servants can be active simultaneously. Servants remain on screen for about eight seconds before despawning, and will also despawn after taking two hits from Jacko. If the servant or Jacko is hit by her opponent, it despawns immediately. Servants have projectile properties when launched, and can bounce off of each other. Jacko uses her normals and specials to move servants around the screen to create oppressive offense, tricky high-low mixes, and sandwich situations. Although Jacko only needs one servant to get these offensive situations started, having more servants on screen means Jacko can easily overwhelm her opponent with normal moves, servant commands, and good servant gauge management. Standing Kick is a ranged poke that combos into several other normals, like Forward Punch, Forward Heavy Slash, and Crouching Dust. It launches servants a short distance, it's jump cancelable, and acts as an anti-air. Jacko's Close Slash is one of her most used normals, since it's a versatile combo starter. It combos into eight of her other normals. A combo starter to practice using this normal is Close Slash into Standing or Crouching Heavy Slash. Far Slash is another ranged poke option that launches servants further across the screen. It combos into both standing and crouching heavy slash for mix-up options. Forward Heavy Slash is a two-hit move that can defend airspace and dissuade opponents from approaching. It launches her servants into a high arc. Spacing is key for the second hit of this move. It can whiff on some shorter characters if they're standing. Jacko's Jump Slash has a big hitbox and combos into her Jump Heavy Slash. It bounces her servants off the ground, creating interesting setup options, such as servant bounce into normals like Standing or Crouching Heavy Slash. Her Jump Heavy Slash can cross up and launches her servants far across the screen. If it does cross up, you get two hits on the opponent instead of one. Jump Dust stops Jacko's air momentum and sends a projectile towards the ground before pushing her slightly backwards. This is a good zoning tool, can bounce servants a short distance, and can destroy any of your opponent's projectiles that are on screen. Crouching Kick is a low-profile move and goes under lots of moves from the opponent. It has several normal combo options, including Crouching Dust. Jacko's Crouching Heavy Slash ground bounces opponents on hits and bounces them even higher on counter hit, allowing for a sneaky servant summon. Crouching Heavy Slash ground bounces servants as well and easily combos from Close Slash. Finally, Crouching Dust is a low profile move that puts opponents in a knockdown state, letting Jacko safely summon a servant. Crouching Dust can also combo into her special move, Servant Shoot. Summon Servant is Jacko's character defining move that puts a servant down in front of her. It requires Servant Gauge to use. If you hold this button, instead of putting the servant down, Jacko holds the servant above her head. For pickup servant, Jacko picks up the closest servant and holds it above her head. This move is risky as she can no longer block or backdash while holding the servant. Instead, Jacko runs backwards. During pickup servant, Jacko can use any servant ability without using servant gauge, but the command only applies to the servant she's holding. Throw servant tosses the servant Jacko is holding in an arc in front of her, turning it into a projectile. This special moves servants further than any of her other normals and is a good way to reposition servants without hitting them. Release Servant puts the servant Jacko's holding directly in front of her. This can be used on the ground and in the air. Servants dropped during Release Servant fall more slowly, meaning Jacko can position them in the air to get servants to a specific height for pressure and mix. Recover Servant makes any servants on screen despawn immediately and refills Jacko's servant gauge, but it requires servant gauge to activate. Attack Command causes all servants on screen to attack and requires servant gauge to use. It can be jump cancelled on hit or block and can be used while holding a servant. Servants using Attack Command launch an opponent on hit, allowing Jacko to follow up with a combo. During Defend Command, servants put up a shield that blocks attacks. 
This special requires Servant Engage to use and can be used while holding a Servant. If an opponent hits a Servant during Defend Command, the opponent will crumple. Be aware that even though this shield blocks most attacks, it won't block an opponent's overdrive. Countdown puts a timer above all on-screen Servants' heads, and after three seconds, the Servants explode! Servant Gauge is required for this move, and it can be used while holding a Servant. The Servant Gauge will not regenerate while Countdown is active. Jacko can hit Countdown Servants any number of times, and they won't despawn. Countdown causes lots of block stun if it hits an opponent, and Jacko's Servant Gauge refills as soon as the Servants explode. But be careful, the explosion from Countdown can damage Jacko, too. Servant Shoot is one of Jacko's most important special moves. It launches Servant straight forward as a projectile. It can be cancelled into other Servant moves like Attack Command to pressure your opponent, and can also be cancelled into both of her overdrives. It's also used on its own as a combo ender and can be used while holding a Servant. Servant Shoot has wall bounce properties. This is great for corner combos! Forever Elysian Driver, Jacko's Reversal Overdrive, grabs her opponent and slams them into the ground. It can wall break when used in the corner and can be used to end your combo strings. It can be used while holding a Servant. You can safely summon a Servant afterwards, too! This Overdrive may sound powerful, but it has short effective range and is very punishable if you whiff. Cheer Servant On is Jacko's Servant Overdrive. During this overdrive, the Servant Despawn Timer is paused, and it lets Jacko hit Servants around infinitely until the overdrive runs out. It can be used while holding a Servant. If Jacko uses her Countdown Special during Cheer Servant On, the Servant Gauge will regenerate. There are two versions of Cheer Servant On. The Slash version temporarily gives all of Jacko's Servants infinite guard point, meaning they will no longer despawn except if hit by an opponent's Overdrive or Burst. The Heavy Slash version makes the Servant Gauge recover extremely quickly, allowing Jacko to use more Servant commands. If you have enough tension, you can use both versions of Cheer Servant On at the same same time! Jacko is an excellent character for technical fighters who want smothering offense and lots of mix in their overall strategy. If you're ready to wish your opponent a funny Halloween, sign up for the Guilty Gear Strive Open Series. Go to compete.playstation.com or register in-game.